Okay, so this is going to be about the one month update on how this Spank 359 wheel is doing. Um, as you can tell, its thing is filthy and it's gotten many, 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 many miles worth of work and riding. And as you can tell, have yet to clean it in about a month. Um, so I'm going to clean it all up um, and then kind of go over goods and bads and kind of what I think about it. All right, so... A little bit behind, but we're going to go ahead and review this. Okay, so one month into having the Spank Hex hub wheel. Um, going to take the wheel off and kind of tell you a little bit of what I think about it. Uh, we're going to see if some of the things they said hold true. Uh, they said that the wheel, that the inner hubs are supposed to be pretty well sealed to where you don't have a lot of grit and dirt building up. So we're going to kind of take the wheel off and see if what they're saying is true. Um, so I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna go from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the little nubs and see how clean it looks and surprisingly even though I've been riding for a little bit over a month it's hard to see in the camera but it's surprisingly actually very clean like almost no dirt I wouldn't say no dirt but it's pretty damn clean now let's see the other side with oh that's right I'm gonna have to take that off so okay so I'm gonna get the cassette tool pop off the cassette and then come back and see how the engagement part looks. Okay, so got the cassette loose, haven't cleaned it or anything. Um, this is kind of basically what it's looking like so far. Uh, so we're gonna take off a little nipple here, a little bit of dirt, not overly as bad, especially because where I'm riding over here in Waco, um, um, and I took it to New Mexico also. I forgot about that. It was super dusty. Um, we rode around, I don't even know how many hours in New Mexico, and um, this is surprisingly still pretty clean. So we take off the, the engagement part, and I have to say it's pretty, pretty clean. Uh, you can see it is, it is some dirt. And since I have it apart, I'm gonna kind of regrease it and clean it out a little bit. But for the most part, it's it's held up pretty well. Um, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. Um, overall, um, so riding it over a month now, I'd have to say I love this thing. Um, best sub three hundred dollar wheel, and I would say it's probably worth even more than that. Um, engagement wise, climbing on rocks. Um, like it's amazing just how much control you have. Like as soon as I put my fed, my pedal down, the wheel's pretty much engaging. Like I have little, very little slop. Um, I can't really think of anything negative to say about this wheel so far. Okay, so now since I have the wheel off, I'm just gonna clean up the the hub, get up all the grease, the old grease, and then kind of re-grease it. Um, unlike some other ones, they do have where these little sprawls don't pop out. There's some hubs, I think it's DT Swiss's, that are, these are able to get kind of popped out and you can lose them. But these, the way they're set up is they're, they're basically in place, so you don't have to worry about them falling out if you don't pull out the hub right. I'm gonna re-grease since I have it out. Clean it up a little bit before I stick it back on. So I mean, overall, this hub is pretty amazing. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of experience with the i9 stuff, so I can't give a complete idea. Uh, you know, apples apples. But for what this is and what I've ridden, this thing is great. Um, I can't. I can't really say anything bad about it um 
the sound is cool, the engagement is pretty instant. Um, the way I compare it is, um, if I had to compare this to say like an i9 one. So okay, overall, I would have to say that this hub is pretty awesome. Um, from engagement, um, like little to no slop, no slack. I push down on the pedal, the thing goes. That's kind of how I like it. Um, I can't really say anything bad. If I had to compare it to something, I would probably compare it to cars. And I would say that this is along the lines of a Corvette versus Ferrari. You know, Ferrari being your crazy expensive i9 hubs, which I'm sure they're, they're great, but I can't afford it. Um, so with what I can afford is going to be my little Corvette here and I'm, I'm okay with that. I can't tell any kind of difference. Um, and if there is, it's probably a negligible amount. Now I just tried putting a little bit more grease. I heard uh, somebody talking about sometimes adding a little bit more grease will quiet the hub down a little bit. And not that I mind the sound, but sometimes I kind of would rather hear more of the trail. So I'm just gonna see kind of how, how that works and if it makes a difference. Um, just playing around, testing things out, see how, how it goes. Um, but overall, would I buy the Spank Hub 359 with the Hex Hub again? Hell yeah, I would. Um, I think as soon as I get more money, I'm going to try and get the front wheel and see kind of how that performs. Because um, if this back one is performing pretty well, I'd love to see how well the front one performs. It's okay. So, um, biggest issue that led to the... The upgrade was just basically um, being mid-pedal stroke while climbing a hill. I'd get the rocky, chunky areas, and I'd go to pedal, and I would almost go probably about that far before they engage, and by that point, you're already kind of out of your power stroke. So having that engagement where as soon as I push from here, that thing is moving. There's like very little to no slop. And also the sound, like, now that it's re-greased, it sounds a little bit different. But that's kind of a sick sound. So, maybe I bought it 75% for the sound, 25% for the pedaling. But overall, this thing has been freaking amazing. Um, I can't speak highly enough about it. The wheel has basically stayed true. I've hit lots of chunky areas, hitting jumps, and there's like literally no dents or bends in it. Um, and I haven't been running super high pressures either. I think I range between 22 to 28 ish, depending on what I'm doing. Um, but this thing is solid. I haven't had no leaks no low pressures like this thing is it's sealed solid so overall build quality um functionality with the pedaling the air leaking um i mean overall you can't complain and i'm not sure what else i can say about it because it's kind of just a random um review that i felt like doing right now um but if you do got any questions let me know otherwise spank 359 um that's the way to go buy it